Oh, hi guys and welcome. In this video, I will talk about Tableau's Include feature. And for our data set, I'm going to take a toy example. So let's assume there is a cafeteria and on a particular day, we have four customers, Ali, Ben, Kathy and Devi. And these customers make purchases as follows. So there are 12 purchases or orders and they are spread across these four customers, Ali, Ben, Kathy and Devi. Now using this data set, we are going to see the include LOD feature in Tableau. So let's move to Tableau. Uh, so I'm using Tableau desktop and the first thing I'll do is connect to my Excel file and we can see the data out here and let's create a new worksheet. And the first thing I'm going to do is just drag this amount field into the rows section and check out the average. Okay, and this average amount is 23.92. So can you pause the video for a moment and just uh, think of how this average is being calculated based on our data set? Right, so in order to see how, let's uh, create another sheet. And this time I'm going to drag the order ID onto the rows section. And as you can see, we have 12 orders and add the sum information here. So what we are seeing out here is my amount is grouped by the order ID. And since there are 12 order IDs, so there are 12 amounts and we are summing across order ID. Now, what if I take the average of all these amounts? So let's go to the analytics section and drag a total and create a grand total. And by default, this is a sum. So let's change that to an average. And we get the figure of 23.92, which is the same as the previous case. So let's pause out here. Now, what if I wanted to group my amounts across the customers? How could we do that? So let's create another worksheet. And this time we are going to drag the customer in the row section. So we have four customers and now we drag the amounts. So as you can see in this case, the amounts are grouped across the four customers, Ali, Ben, Kathy and Devi. And now let's add a total to this information. So we'll go and modify this total out here and select the average. So the average per customer is 71.75, which is quite different from the average per order. Now, the big question we have is, how do I get this customer level average without dragging and dropping the customer pill on our view? And this is where the level of detail include concept comes into play. So let's create a new worksheet and go to customer out here, right click and create a calculated field. So I'm going to call it LOD include cust. And here is where we write our calculation. So we say include customer and sum the amount field. So essentially what we are doing is we are summing uh, the amounts and grouping this uh, sum across each customer. And let's see what happens if we drag this pill onto the row section. As you can see, we do not have any other field here. And once again, we take the average. So we get 71.75, which is the same. And just to make things a bit clearer, let me also add it at the top of this bar and again, take the average out here. So as you can see, in this case, we have not added the customer pill to the view. And let's do the same thing going back to sheet number one. So finally, let's go to a dashboard and put these four worksheets into perspective. So let's look at sheet one and sheet two firstly. So as you can see, sheet one is where we just dragged the amount to a blank canvas and we took an average and we saw that the behavior was the same as taking an average after grouping our data across the order ID. And in sheet three and four, what we see is first, let's look at sheet three. We grouped our amounts per customer and then took the average and we achieved the same uh, output using an LOD field 
uh, LOD include uh, using the customer ID, which we did in sheet four. So guys, I hope this makes sense and you have understood the concept of the LOD include. Please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments section. And thanks for watching.